completed without rate increases, tax rate increases. Oh, we've changed the subject? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, that's one of the options, that's for sure. For the last couple of days, just to answer your question, the last couple of days we've come to, we're narrowing what the possibilities are as we see what we need to cover because the bill will be paid for. And so what are the choices that will be made? So we met yesterday morning to narrow what needs to be done, and the chairman of the Finance Committee, Mr. Wyden, and the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, Mr. Neal, have been working to that end. Uh, we had in our House bill, which I was very proud of, uh, an increase in the corporate rate and an increase in the capital gains and that. It was a very well-received uh, proposal because it wasn't punitive. It was fair. But we'll see what survives, um, uh, what prevails. What's your preference? Do you have a preference? Well, uh, my preference is to follow the, co the cooperation that the Senate and House come to. Uh, yes, Chad. Next one is a woman, no matter who. <laughs> so yesterday morning, you said that some. So yesterday morning, you said some of the reporting about what was in and out of the bill was not accurate. Is that because this bill is still in flux, and does this have to be pre-baked with the Senate before you present it? Does everything have to be nailed down with the Senate and with Manson and Senate? Whatever it is you think I said, what I was saying is that instead of covering what is in the bill, uh, you all seem to be on a jag about a few people. 96% of the House and Senate Democrats support the President's proposal. You would never know that to see the reporting in it. But that's your, that's your work. You do yours, we do ours. Uh, I'm, you, you, you couldn't possibly misrepresent because it isn't, it isn't uh, done yet. Uh, and, and it will be because now we have to narrow the scope and uh, and we are in the process of doing that. And pre baked with the Senate so that everything is signed off here, so that everything is finalized before we say this. Our is agreement the is that we will have uh, an, an agreement that we will pass both houses. Okay. Yes, ma'am. How critical is it to reach an agreement on a framework by tomorrow? Leader Schumer says he wants to get this done by the end of the week. Are you on track for doing that? We've always been on track for doing that. The House has been on schedule. We have a goal, we have a timetable, we have milestones. And we've met them all, and this is one of them. And on the child tax credit, you talked about the importance of that. Would a one-year extension be sufficient or acceptable to you? That, if that's, that's what the president has agreed to. Let me just say, I want permanent child tax credit. Uh, I've, I've wanted it for years. This is the president's big issue. It's called the Biden child tax credit. So if, he's, if it's acceptable to him in light of the bill, it's acceptable to me. Climate, climate, yes, climate, yes.